Welcome to Jocelyn's Cooking Corner. Today, I'm going to share with you my eggplant alfredo with Italian sausage and mushroom casserole. Come on, let's go. I use a large eggplant, quarter-sized white onions, minced garlic, Italian sausages, and two types of mushrooms. I love brown mushrooms, cremini baby mushrooms, and sliced white mushrooms. I used Prego roasted garlic parmesan alfredo sauce, salt, pepper, garlic powder, grated parmesan and romano cheese, breadcrumbs, and for the kicker, crushed red pepper. The first thing I do is cook the Italian sausage. I cut the eggplant into thin slices. I chop the onions into small pieces. I drizzle olive oil in the base of my casserole dish to make sure my eggplants stay moist. It's time to layer the casserole. I place the slice of the eggplant on the very bottom. Then I pile all the mushrooms on top of the eggplant as a second layer. And I spread it around and I'm going to add all the chopped onions on top. I spoon bits of minced garlic in different areas of my casserole. I spoon about a teaspoon of garlic and I sprinkle it in different areas of the casserole. Then I put the Italian sausage on top of the mushroom and onions, covering it all around. I lightly season the casserole with salt. Then I season it with pepper. I add garlic powder. Then I add the red pepper flakes. Ooh, this is gonna taste very, very good. Now I pour the whole alfredo sauce evenly on top of the casserole.
I use a rubber spatula to evenly spread the Alfredo sauce in all the different areas in the corners to make sure every ounce of it is covered with Alfredo sauce. It comes out nice and creamy. Then I sprinkle the grated Parmesan cheese on top, nice and even. And then the breadcrumbs. As you can see, I'm very generous with my breadcrumbs because when it bakes, it comes up nice and crispy. Now I put it in my preheated oven at 450 degrees. I bake for 40 minutes. Ooh, it is nice and golden. You can see the eggplants and the mushroom. They mix up well with the Italian sausage. Nice brown and crispy on the top. Okay, it's time to try it. I'm so excited. Okay, it's time to try it. For the mushroom first. Ooh. Mm. So the sauce, the mushrooms, I love the way that the flowers, I love the way that the flavors are mixing together. It's a really good combination. I'm trying some mushroom, eggplant, and some Italian sausage together. It's very tender. Mmm. Delicious. It's really delicious. Mm. So I could even recommend you putting this on top of your favorite type of pasta. It would go really well with pasta, definitely. And you can eat it by itself, too. I love the breadcrumbs because the breadcrumbs give it this nice crunch, so it tastes really good. Mmm. And the red pepper flake, nice kick. So, definitely recommend with the Italian sausage. It gives it a nice kick, but if you're vegetarian, then don't add the sausage. Um, and I don't know what kind of cream sauce you could use if you don't use dairy. Maybe you could improvise. I'm just gonna finish this up because it's delicious. I'm so happy. Mm. It also tastes good if I had like some crispy bread to just dip it in. Definitely would taste good with some bread. delicious. It would go well with some bread or with some salad. Or the third piece is maybe just putting it on top of some pasta. It's really good. The flavors mesh well together. Um, and also with the with the garlic parmesan cream sauce. It's a nice cream sauce that yes you can put on top of pasta and mix it mix it well. It's so good. Um, anything I would different do differently? Not really. I think the one thing I would do differently is I wouldn't put so much minced garlic because that part is strong, so I can definitely taste it. But overall, it's delicious. It really is good. Um, okay, so there you have it. Another one of my Jocelyn's Cooking Corner episodes. If you like this video, please like it. 
leave a comment, try it out, and tell me, you know, if you added anything, altered the recipe, totally for it. Make it creative, however you like it. I definitely want to hear it. And share, share this video with others. Okay, so I'm Jocelyn. Thank you for watching Jocelyn's Cooking Corner. I'll see you later. Bye.